Good morning. God bless you. Hello, Apostle Michelle Donatian here with an encouraging word for you today. We are talking about preaching the gospel and we are on part three. And I'm excited to share this with you because this is what the Lord has put in my spirit to share with you. So let your friends and your family know that we are here. Let them know that I'm on and we're going to have a great time in the Lord. Let's open up in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you. We bless you. And Lord, I just ask you right now by your Holy Spirit to touch the hearts of your precious people. Give me the right words to say, let not one person see me. Let them see you, Lord. And we will glorify you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Oh, beloved, it's my desire that you are covered, 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 hallelujah, with the, by the presence of Jesus. You know, I heard uh, someone say just this morning, and it blessed me so, covered, she said, be so oily. Her name is Heidi Baker, Minister Heidi Baker. I think she's a pastor, pastor or evangelist. I'm not sure, but I'll just say Minister Heidi Baker for now. And anyway, if you know who she is, you do. If not, you don't. But uh, she's an um, yeah, evangelist. She's an evangelist in a country in Africa. I can't remember right now where she is, but it blessed me. She said she just wanted to be covered, just oily from the Lord. And it just blessed me because it's the presence of God. We think of the Holy Spirit, the oil. Glory be to God. And you know, that is my desire for you. That is my desire for myself that I may just be dripping, hallelujah, with the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, the anointing, glory be to God, the first anointing, the most important anointing is the overflow of Jesus in your life. That is what the most important anointing is. You can preach all the best sermons. You can, uh, you know, facilitate the best meetings where millions of people get saved. But if you don't have the anointing with Jesus in your heart, then that, then you don't have anything. You don't have anything, but the Lord is so faithful. And so this is what we want to share with others. And I've been talking to you about why we preach the gospel. And so the Lord has really impressed this upon my heart to share this with you. So part three today is talking about the power, the Holy Spirit, in the book of Acts chapter one, I told you yesterday that the Holy Spirit would be the one to do the work. It's not you. It's not for you to try to impress it upon their heart. You can't do that. You can share the word of God. You can share situations that have happened. You can talk to them about what God has done, but it is the Holy Spirit that's going to move in their heart. So in the book of Acts chapter one, hallelujah, verse eight, it says, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. So by the power of the Holy Ghost, you're going to preach the gospel because that means that the words you say are the words that are going to bless those that hear it. You see, it's all done by the work of the Holy Spirit. We just are the vessels. And there is great freedom in that because you don't have to be the one to think of all the words. You just share what the Holy Spirit tells you to share. You know, I can't tell you how many times that I've been amazed at what the Holy Spirit has done. You just be a vessel. Let yourself get out of the way. Don't try to think of all the words because the Bible says that the Lord will give you the right words to say at the right time. You understand it's the Holy Spirit that's going to do all the work. You just show up and be a vessel. And beloved, as long as you do your job, the Holy Spirit will do his. You understand you do your job by going because he's not going to do it himself. Why? Remember what he said. He told us, the believers, to go and preach the gospel around the world. That's what he said. He said, and ye shall be witnesses unto me. We're to be witnesses unto the Lord Jesus Christ all over the world. Just like Mark 16, glory be to God, tells us that we're to preach the gospel. 
But when we preach the gospel, we do it only by the power of the Holy Spirit. Don't try to do it in your mind, you know, think smart thoughts. I'm sure you're a smart person, but believe me, beloved, the Bible tells us that it's the Holy Spirit that does the work. It is nothing to do with intellectualism or intellect. It's all about the Spirit of God. And we get out of the way and we let the Holy Spirit do it and God will move. So as I close here today, glory be to God. I'm going to be coming back on glory be to God today. And I'm going to come back on because I want to share some more about preaching the gospel that the Lord has put in my heart. So let your friends and your family know, join me. Don't miss it. God bless you for now. I love you. I'm praying for you and your family.